Good afternoon or good evening. Dr. Nat here. We are discussing number 21. This is a question from Web Assign from chapter 2. So let's talk about it. A rock is thrown upwards from a level ground in such a way that the maximum height of its flight is equal to its horizontal range R. So what do we know about this question? It doesn't say that the rock is thrown from a building. It doesn't say that the rock is thrown to a mountainside. It's just saying that the rock is thrown from level ground. So we are going to assume that this is a symmetrical projectile motion. So let's draw that. So this is our projectile motion. It is supposed to be symmetrical, but my drawing is not symmetrical here. Okay, so what else do we know? We know that we will have an initial velocity. Let's label this as um, V0. This is our initial velocity and I would have a ux, the initial velocity in the x component or in the x axis and this would be our uy and ux would be v0 cosine theta while our ui would be v0 sine theta. This is assuming that our theta is over here. The x axis is touching the theta therefore the ux gets the cosine v0 cosine theta okay so that is what we know so far and it says that the maximum height of its flight so capital h or maximum y displacement or maximum sy we can say that as well maximum sy is equal to r or maximum sx Okay, so this is the condition that the uh, question is asking. Okay, this is the condition that is given to us. So, what else do we know? So, if my projectile motion reaches its maximum point or its maximum height, we label this maximum height as capital H, right? This is our maximum SY. And we know for a fact that when the rock reaches this point, reaches the maximum height, it needs to have a velocity of vy equals to zero. What about the vx? The vx does not change because it is not affected by gravity. Gravity only acts in the y axis. Therefore, your vx maintains the same at this point. I'm just writing it down. I'm not trying to solve it or anything yet, right? Okay, what else do we know about this projectile motion? Let's use a different color now. Let's use red. So we know that the maximum range or the maximum x displacement is r. So this is from this point, the initial point, to here. From here to here. This is called the range. And if you have a symmetrical projectile motion, you know that if you divide your r by 2, this would be r over 2. This would be r over 2 r over 2 is the x displacement when you reach your h or when you reach your maximum height okay so we know these already so now we can start hopefully so first i want to know i i want to use the vy equals to zero so let's use that v equals to u plus at equation this is from linear kinematic equation so I want to use this for the y-axis, okay? So this would be vy and this would be uy minus gt. For linear kinematics, your acceleration or your gravity needs to be a minus, okay? This is different than free body diagram. For your equation, you need to have that negative gravity. Okay, so we know at this point, we are trying to solve uh, from here to here first this is our aim for now so let's continue so vy is equal to zero i want to know what is the time to reach the maximum height so this would be u this would be ui or v naught sine theta and this would be gt okay so immediately i know that t would be equal to I move gt to the other side, it becomes a positive, therefore t becomes v0 sine theta over g. So this is my time. This is the time to reach 
the maximum height. This is the time to reach the maximum height. I did not solve it yet. So if I want to know what is the total duration to reach range R, to reach the maximum X displacement, what do I need to do? The total duration is capital T. This would be twice the time to reach the maximum height. 2 times T. So this would make, give me 2 V0 sine theta over T. So this is my total duration. What is T? T is the time to reach H. This is the time to reach H and T is the total duration. Okay. So what next? I want to know what is my X displacement. So I want to use what equation? I have my time. Do I have my initial velocity? I do. So let's use V squared U squared plus 2AS. Would that work? No. Can we use SY equals to UT plus 1 over 2 AT squared? Sorry, SY equals ST. Sx equals to ux times t. So this is another equation from the linear kinematics. S equals to ut plus 1 over 2 at squared. I want to know what is my maximum range. So this would be sx, ux, ax. Now what is ax? ax is equal to 0. So yay, I don't have to solve that. So I want to know what is R, maximum R, right? Or maximum Sx. So Ux is V0 cosine theta. And I have my T as this guy, V0 sine theta over G. So this would give me my R. Okay, so I rearranged what we have done so far. So what's next? I already solved for R. I haven't solved for H yet. So let's try to do that. We have solved for SX. We haven't tried for SY yet. So let's do that. SY, what equation can we use? V squared U squared plus 2AS. Um, we can do that. Let's try that. V squared U squared plus 2 a s in this case we're talking about y axis so this would be v y squared u y squared plus 2 minus g and we are talking about h we want to solve for h or the maximum s y so when does maximum s y happen or when does maximum height happen it happens when your final velocity is equal to zero at this point, right? This is what we were talking about. Okay, so our Vy becomes zero and that's great. It makes my life easier. Now this equation becomes, I bring this guy to the other side. Now it becomes 2gh equals to Uy squared. What is Uy? V naught sine theta and this is going to be squared. Solving this for h, this would be v naught sine theta squared divided by 2g. Now, the question says h is equal to r. So, let's try to equate that together. Oops, but before that, I did a mistake with my sx. Uh, look here, my sx, we are trying to find for r, right? So, ux is basically v naught cosine theta. That is correct. But my time... The time to reach range R should be T, capital T. What is capital T? It's 2 V0 sine theta over G. But I use small t instead. That's wrong. I need to use capital T. So make sure you don't make this mistake. You need to use the total duration to find R, not the small t. The small t is to find the maximum height. So putting that into the equation, so this becomes 2 V0 sine theta over g so this becomes 2 v naught squared cosine sine theta cosine theta sine theta over g okay so back to our question h is equal to r so let's equate that together r and h let me use a pink for this so v2 v naught squared 
cosine theta sine theta. Where am I getting this equation? From here. Over G would be equal to H. Let me show you guys. So this is our H. Whoops, why is it like that? This is H. And this would be our R. We, we made a mistake but we correct it. So it's all good. So this is R and H is V naught squared sine theta squared over 2G. So I have an extra squared here. Let's remove that. So this now we're left with um, this equation. And comes my favorite part, which is crossing out things. So V naught squared cross out with V naught squared. Awesome. We have sine here and a sine squared here. So this uh, squared squared number it disappears with the sine. So we're left with sine theta over here and a cosine. G cancels out with G. This the two does not cancel out. If I bring this guy over here, it becomes a four. So this becomes four sine theta over cosine i bring this cosine over here sine over cosine you know this already it's supposed to be tangent theta so tangent theta is equal to four so what is theta theta is basically the inverse tangent of four and what is that i don't know my calculator is ruined let me see if i can use it i can't i can't salvage it so you guys have to find out what this is so we solved for a now we're going for b in terms of it its original r range r what is the range r max the rock can attain if it is launched at the same speed so the, the speed is the same but you're changing the angle to the optimal angle now if we still remember from our lecture in chapter 2 i told you you can achieve the best displacement in the x-axis if your angle is 45. Let me show you that slide really quickly. Okay, so look at this one. So here you can see that this rock is thrown at different angles. So here you can see that the best angle to get the best R would be 45 degrees. So that is your optimal angle. This is... um true for all cases eh? if you want the best maximum displacement in your x axis or you want the best r range you need to shoot your object at 45 degrees so we already know that this is the angle or this is the optimal angle to shoot something so what is our r max r max is when your angle is 45 degrees v naught cosine 45 and then you have 2 v naught sine 45 and then over g you have r you have r max in terms of its original r what is the range r max so they want you to describe r max in terms of r so let's try to just make sense of it first so this angle would reduce to sorry this equation would reduce to v naught squared over g and we solved for theta just now and the theta from part a was um, 76 i used my calculator so theta for regular r right not the maximum it is 76 degrees so i'm plugging that in v naught cosine 76 this is 76 and then 2 v naught sine 76 over g and then and r is v not sorry r is 0 0.469 v not squared over g so if we wanted to describe r max in terms of r r max in terms of r so r max over r v not squared over g over v not sorry it's 0 0.469 v naught squared over g so this cancels out i bring r to the other side so this answer becomes r max is equal to 1 over 0 0.469 r whatever that value is and then c would your answer to part a be different if the rock is thrown with the same speed on a different planet now r 
Oh, sorry. We're talking about... Would your answer be the same if the rock is thrown at the same speed? So we're trying to solve for theta. How did we solve theta just now? So theta is tangent... Theta is inverse tangent of 4. It does not have the value g into in its equation. So you can answer that yourself. Okay, bye-bye. Take care.